Welcome back to yet another neighborhood spotlight here in Chandler, Arizona. Today we are in Pecos Ranch and we're going to highlight the top five features of Pecos Ranch. I'm here at the community center. We'll talk all about that in a little hint. It might be number one or so on this list, but stay tuned. We're gonna cover everything about Pecos Ranch in Chandler, Arizona. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, leave a comment if you have any questions. Also reach out, phone, text, email. There's also a Zoom option. I'd love to connect with you and help you along your journey to find that next home. With that, let's jump into all the specifics here of the top five. We'll do five different things. We're going to discuss some of the features of Pecos Ranch. We're at the community and then we're gonna work our way around. We, right behind me here, we have the first order of business is the community center. There is a community pool back here. We'll show you a little video of that. There's also tennis courts. I don't see a pickleball court, which is the hot, hot thing right now. And I have to admit, it's pretty addicting. I just started and I'm already addicted. And then there's some bocce ball, horseshoe pits. Um, and like I mentioned, the pool back there today, it looks pretty calm. There's not really many people around. So that could be another pro is it's really quiet and private. It's centrally located. We're just uh, south of the 202 right off of Dobson. And I'll show you a map as that as well. So you can kind of get a general understanding, but it's, it's a great central location, really close to a lot of different things. Before we move on to the next feature, I wanted to just walk around so you get a little bit of a bird's eye view. I mean, just walking the community area here. There's the tennis courts, a little pond over here. If you really listen, you probably can't hear it, but you can hear a little bit of the highway traffic. It's very slight. It's almost like white noise. And you got all kinds of stuff going on over here. Like I said, pretty quiet. And then you have residential right behind me here. Hi there. And we'll drive around. I'll show you that as well. Like we normally do, just drive around the community. Little sitting area over there cool tower and then you got the palm trees walking right across the street from the community center and there's a pond here a waterfall right over there but the second piece is that it is quite a bit more affordable than you would think having a smaller community it's gonna get a little loud over another waterfall affordable um, it's really small it's only 30, 391 homes but you have a lot of features and there's a lot of the homes that back up right up to water. So you're not going to see that with a lot of the other huge communities and many of that we've covered just recently. The thing I normally like to do is search the active listings, what's currently on the market. There's seven properties on the market in Pecos Ranch right now. And I think I'll just run some of the numbers and what that looks like. But before I do that, the average square feet, the average price, all that sort of thing. And it's quite a bit more manageable cost wise than a lot of the other neighborhoods and you'll see a lot of the nice features too in the, the size of the homes but right behind me you might even hear the waterfall there's two waterfalls well here there's one over there and there's a little pond here so i'll show you that as well okay we're going to jump into some of the numbers on these seven properties that are actively on the market just to give you an example the overall average price six hundred twenty-two thousand. so that's actually pretty reasonable for what you're getting in this community. The average per square foot, when you do the math on the price and the overall square feet, 409. So sometimes you can get in around the 300s, which is pretty low. So 400 is a little bit higher than that, but not too bad overall. Actual square feet, 1,585. So not super huge, but not real small either. Days on the market, this is one of the outliers, 87 but there's a house that's on the market for 457 days. So if you are a math geek and you take the median, which is in the middle, it'd be more of 32 days, which would be pretty quick overall. The number of baths and bedrooms come in exactly three and two. So almost all the houses on the market that I did the search on all have three bedrooms and they all have two baths. So that gives you a really good understanding of what you're looking at when you're looking at this community of Pecos Ranch. And lastly, the year built, 1991 is the average. So they're all within a few years of 91, give or take. Next up, we have the proximity to the 
Pecos Ranch Park, which I'm walking through right now. We got a basketball court over here, picnic tables, a uh, little play area, more picnic tables, an open field. This is what I'm walking through right next door to the neighborhood. So this is something you can let the kids go run off. You can have some picnic. And just a few minutes down Alma School, we ended up at Fulton Ranch Promenade. Wanted to show you some of the, the background of what this looks like. We have the epic palm trees that always gets me. It just makes this whole feeling look a little bit more upscale or feel it. Uh, we have a Mexican restaurant behind me, a bank in front of me, a lot of stores behind here in the little strip mall. And then uh, on the way down here, just a few minutes away from the, the neighborhood of Pecos Ranch is Acatillo, which we cut through. And there's a lot of different options along there, a lot of different shopping and businesses, restaurants. So there's really no shortage of, if you need to run an errand, if you wanna go have a margarita, it, all those options within a few minutes. And next up we have the beautiful landscaping and all the connected waterfronts. And many of these properties, like I mentioned, are right on the water and they're actually somewhat reasonably priced. So I'm gonna just start to drive around a little bit too and show you some of the neighborhood by the drive-bys and some of the landscaping and just some of the epic uh, waterfront properties. Okay, we're gonna drive around the neighborhood. Like I said, we're gonna get a little bit of an idea on what everything looks like. Just as you're driving around the neighborhood, a lot of double garages, some that are triple garage. You have some palm trees, pretty typical Arizona environment. Some have the triple garage and then some landscaping. There's a nice triple garage house there, single level. And then there is a highlighted property that is coming up that I will be showing you some of the pictures on what the house looks like. This is one of the houses that I mentioned that's actively on the market right now. And it's coming up here just in a second right here. This is 630,000 and it is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,872 square feet. 630,000 for that. So that falls right in the parameters on, on some of the averages that I mentioned earlier. Nice landscaping of the water and a lot of those homes right sitting on the water so you can do all kinds of water activities. There's really no limits on different things that you can come up with to refresh yourself with a little water when it gets so hot out in Arizona. And that's very often, especially in the summer, you're gonna find all kinds of ways to cool off. But very scenic and a lot of different trees for shade options as well. Before we jump into the last one, I did a few other videos on some neighboring communities, Ocotillo and Fulton Ranch. You can check those out in the link in the upper right hand corner of this video. With that, we will jump into schools. And the last one, we're at the Jacobson, Jacobson Elementary School, which is one of the options. You also have Conley, and this is right on Queen Creek Road, right uh, on the other side here. And then for the middle school, Boggle, and then Hamilton High, which is just around the corner. And with that, we've come full circle back to the community, the pool area, beautiful day here the top five features of the Pecos Ranch community. If you have any questions, maybe I've answered them all in the video. If not, let me know in the comments or reach out to me via text. And until next time, I'll see you guys. I'm Greg, talk soon.